Hello viewers, today I got 2014 Toyota Camry Hybrid. The car came on a tow truck. There was a problem with the car and the driver was getting the check hybrid system code. He knew that hybrid battery had to be replaced but someone told him to remove and replug the net negative battery terminal to clear the code and reset the battery so he can drive the car. Today he had the same problem, ready light came on but the engine would not start. So he tried to replug the terminal again. He was doing this for more than half an hour or maybe half an hour. So the hybrid battery was completely drained and he could not even get the ready light on when he pressed the start button. So he towed the car to me and and now i'm going to show you the codes and the problem and uh, how to resolve it so i'm going to show you with this uh, small diagram that how this hybrid uh, car works all of the hybrid cars are almost the same so when you press the brake pedal and second you press the start button the power from the battery goes to the module and it takes the power from battery. This Toyota Camry 2014 has 34 cells. So one cell is 7.2 volts. So if you multiply by 7.2 into 34, so it's approximately 200, 252 volts DC uh, volts dc and then this power goes to the inverter and converter and an inverter and converter multiplies 252 volts dc into six times and increase the voltage to six times and give the power to the generator inside the transmission and when the power comes to the generator, it starts the engine. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, hybrid battery is your starter. If the car is not starting, do not start it again and again, because on each start, you are draining this hybrid battery. This car has P0A94 DC, DC converter performance. P0B74 hybrid battery voltage sensor L circuit low and P300 battery control system. Uh, this code came because hybrid battery power is becoming low on each start. On this code, I'm going to replace the inverter with converter and I'm not going to worry about this code because I have to replace the battery anyway. So I'm going to start taking this inverter with converter uh, off. So what I need to do is to take this cover off, this off first. But before doing this, I have to take this terminal off and remove this cover off and disconnect the plug. Take the cover off, slide this lever on the side and pull it towards yourself and it's out. So leave it for 5-10 minutes, the battery will drain so there will be no current but this battery is already drained so now it's safe to work on uh, inverter with converter. First you need to take this trim off and take this intake off. So now I'm going to take this box out, air intake box, take these two out, lose this one, take the clip off and take the clip off from here, take this out, pull this out, remove the air filter, there are two bolts, one bolt is here. 10 mil and one is here 10 mil 
so take these two bolt out air cleaner box is out now you can see inverter with converter completely so i'm going to take these two bolts 10 mil out and this bracket here so this is a bracket as well so i'm going to take this bracket off as well take this bolt out first going to pull these out this has a fuse in here and i'm going to take this out as well so you have six bolts that's holding the wire with terminals now i'm going to take these out and take this clip out now these two are on the side so you have clips here as well and pull this out this is going into the transmission and this one same now this pipe is for the cooling system of the inverter and this is the reservoir and that's the pump that circulates the water into the transmission and inverter with converter so i'm going to show you two more plugs here take this out you have a fuse here that is for the ac compressor this is the ac compressor wire and this wire comes from the battery hybrid battery direct here and this gives the power here inside the converter it boosts the electric current and give it to the transmission so i'm going to take this one bolt here as well that's the long bolt so there is a clip here so i'm going to press it down so this is on side so this has a clip here underneath here this is going to the ac compressor the ac compressor takes power direct from the battery so if you want to prolong the life of the battery use the air conditioning as less as you can so there is another bracket here so taking the coolant pipe off i put the bucket underneath and there is another one here and you have a bracket here that's holding the inverter with converter and this wire as well so when you removing these pipes i'm taking this off from here that's off make sure that the water or coolant doesn't go into any of these wires so put them on side and there is one more hose here that's out bracket here that's holding the uh, inverter converter you have two plugs that's going coming from the modules and you need to take them out as well so now you can see 112 volt bolt is here one is here and one is at the back here there is one more plug here this one this plug you have to remove so i'm going to take this off as well you have to take these plugs out as well see this one here so you can pull it up and now if you can see a clip here pull it back and now this is separate now i'm going to take the 12 mil nut and bolts out so everything is ready now i'm going to take this out of the car this is the inverter with converter that came from the wreckers because he took this cable off that's going to the fuse box so i'm going to put this on so this bracket is missing i'm going to put this on and rear one bracket is still there and they took the fuse out so i'm going to put the fuse on as well on this one 
Okay, I'm going to put this fuse back in here. This fuse is for air conditioner, compressor. If it's not working, check this fuse as well. So this bracket goes here. So first of all, I'm going to put nuts and bolts. The first thing I'm going to do is to put these all hoses back to save myself from the coolant not going into the uh, any of the plug. So just pull, pull it in and push this one back. The second one is here. This one, just push it in and back, press it back and uh, this pipe was missing on this, so I'm going to take the pipe from the other one and press it in here and it's locked. So now I'm going to put this one and check visually if there is any water drop went into there or not. So it's clean. I'm going to press it into the lock and now I'm going to put this one on. And after that, I'm going to put this one, check if there are any water sign or no should be no moisture there that's gonna go here so i'm going to lock this one up this one is for this one these two wires gonna go here. so the first plug is in i'm going to put the terminal bolts on Other one in. Now these clips, these wires are gonna go here. Now I have to put this bracket here. So put this back in here and back this one back in here. All the plugs back make sure there is no water in there the plug is on i'm going to put this one on clipped and this one is clipped now i have to do this one now you have to slide if you can see this one slide in here now you have to slide this in here and on this side and this is locked here I'm going to put all the plugs back in. I'm going to put the nut back. Fuse box cover is back on. This is all done. So I'm going to put the air intake back. See this one? This gonna go here. And these two bolts, one is going here. And the second is going here. Filter and intake cover it's all done now i'm going to put the brackets on I ordered the battery the battery is coming tomorrow so when i will replace the hybrid battery on this car then i'm gonna power it up as i put the power on this water water pump will start pumping this into the transmission and into the inverter with converter i already made a video on how to replace the hybrid battery pack you can have a look uh, on my channel the new battery I bought it from Toyota and I put the core back into it and as I uh, pressed the start button the pump started working and coolant level went down so I'm going to add the coolant so I added the coolant up to here so you see this uh, residue of the coolant in here clean this one because this coolant was very old, it never been replaced. So now I'm going to clean it and put it back.
Now it's clean and I'm going to put this one back over here when it reaches to the point here click that tells you that this is love. So that's all we had done today. Thank you.